I have well and truly let myself down as a vlogger recently, um, which I can only apologise for because I have just either not been doing anything worth vlogging or when I am doing something, forget to pick the camera up. <laughs> so if you watched my last vlog, thank you and thank you for coming back. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I mentioned that I was doing something really exciting in the second half of that day and I was really excited to bring you all the vlog and basically I ended up getting back quite late. Sorry, I'm just putting my necklace on because we're going out in a minute. I ended up getting back quite late from Pierce's Farm Shop and Elsie's Dog Room in the morning and my family were literally five minutes away from turning up and I had all of these big plans to make the house look really cute. Um, basically, we did our bridesmaid's dress try on and then went for my dress fitting yesterday. Um, and yeah, I was so excited to put everything together. I've got hair on my face now. To put everything together, get my bridesmaids around. I have my mother-in-law and my godmum here as well and <clears throat> i'd been planning it for ages literally we had been talking about this bridesmaid's dress try on since i don't even know when we kept putting it back we were going to do it in december and then my dress wasn't there and then we were going to do it in january and i was like do you know what it's just after christmas we've got loads of time nobody's feeling like up for trying on dresses i was waiting for a few um a few colors to come out that i was looking for so we put it back, found out when my dress was going to be in the shop, put it back to April. Oh my god, that time flew by. I remember in December messaging the dress shop and being like, oh hi, just wondered like when my dress was going to be in, so excited to try it on. They're like, oh, it's not going to be here till the end of March. And I remember thinking, oh my god, that's so long away. Considering I'd picked the dress at the end of July, I was so desperate to go and try it on again. And it felt so far away. So I booked in the 6th of April for all of my family to come up. My bridesmaids are all um, like my sister, my sister-in-law, my nieces, my other sister-in-law. So it's all family. I was really excited for it. Came around so quick um, and I was so excited to put on this really cute day for them all and have a proper girls day and vlog it all. And then if I'm completely honest, I mean, A, I just didn't have time to vlog everything before people came. That was my initial plan was to sort of sit down with you guys, tell you what was going to happen, show you around everything, talk through everything that I'd done. And I just didn't have time. It was such a rush in the morning. So I didn't get a chance. I did film bits, but I just didn't speak about them. So that's why I'm coming on here to just kind of explain to you guys what happened yesterday, what we did. Then I'm just going to pop in a montage of the bits that I did get. I don't think there's an awful lot of footage. If I'm honest, I just... Aside from the fact that I didn't have time to film before everyone got here, which is just a shame, when everyone was here, I was just enjoying myself too much. I was in the present moment, which was so lovely. Like, we all had a really lovely time. We had lots to catch up on. I hadn't seen my family since Boxing Day as well, which is ages. Um, again, although it went so quick. I'm so hot. We've just been to the gym. Whew. Just did another 5K run, guys. But yeah, I'm so warm. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry, basically. It's so hard because I really want to bring you guys all the wedding content. But either when we're doing stuff, it's like fast paced. So we've got a meeting in a couple of weeks with our decor lady, which how do you film that? Like, I don't know. I just feel like I want to bring you guys updates, which I think are maybe going to just have to be sort of sit down updates and then montage footage. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Because I just think also I've got, I feel like I've got like hair stuck to my face <laughs> um because also i don't want to look back on this year and think oh i was so focused on getting content that i didn't enjoy it do you see what i mean it's really hard balance because i really want to document everything for the memories i really want to bring you guys along so that you can see what we're up to but yeah, it was really hard, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I thought I'd come on this morning, explain to you guys what happened yesterday. I did just quickly re-pop my outfit back on from yesterday before I get changed, because I put a sneak peek of it on Instagram. Everybody went mad for it, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I wore yesterday afternoon, such a cute little outfit. Um, and then, yeah, basically, we... Everybody came, we had really cute little cupcakes that my mother-in-law made, and some nice little biscuits. I had, like, team bride sort of um what are called cake toppers in them just got those on amazon i bought ages ago these really cute cupcake afternoon tea holders like i think i bought them back in lockdown um so yeah just got those out they were again just from amazon so i made like a cute little cake stand 
things. I had no secco. So before anyone comes to me, the fact that my nieces both had a glass, it was no secco with candy floss in the top. So that looked really cute. And then I had all the dresses set out on a rail. I actually last minute went and picked up a rail from Ikea on Friday. It was only eight pounds. It's not quite tall enough for the dresses, but I think it's going to do. And then we're going to just dismantle it and then take it to the venue with us. Um, when we get married so that I can do it on the wedding day as well hang them up nicely um, so yeah last minute picked up a rail and some white wooden coat hangers from Ikea on Friday so I had all the dresses hanging up nicely um, the dresses that I've chosen are from Six Stories I will leave a link below for you guys um, what I did is I just picked a random bunch of samples so I picked up a couple of different colours, a couple of different fabrics, we all tried them on, we all decided what we liked best, I even had one on, I bought an extra one so that I could try one, well technically I didn't buy it so I could try it, I just ordered a few different sizes and I thought well no one wants this size so I'm gonna wear it, um, so yeah I had one on as well, it was really cute, we all tried them on, switched and switched and swapped them around, everybody tried some, the mother-in-law and godmum tried them as well which was really cute, everybody was just yeah like spinning around in them, seeing what they're like and they are so gorgeous, honestly the quality of them are so lovely i will be honest with you guys because i like to be honest on this channel before i ordered them i basically had seen online the dresses and i'd seen that they had the color that i thought i really really wanted and if i'm honest i was a little bit nervous that the fabric wasn't going to be i don't want to say good enough quality because i've shopped with six stories from the minute we got engaged and their stuff is amazing like genuinely the quality of their clothes is unreal i've got jumpers and pajamas and dressing gowns and leggings like, i've got so much from them and i love every single thing i have the jewelry and everything but i just looked at the bridesmaids dresses and i just thought oh i'm not sure if that satin fabric satin fabric would be a bit too clingy a bit too thin i was really unsure um, we actually went to the National Wedding Show a couple of weeks ago, which I am going to pop in at the end because I don't want to waste that footage. So I'll pop that on the end as well for you guys. Um, but yeah, I saw the six story stall at the National Wedding Show and I just, I couldn't believe the quality of the dresses. So if you are looking at them and thinking, oh, I'm not sure if the fabric looks a little bit, you know, thin or it, it really isn't. It's so thick and it's like a really heavy material in a good way like not heavy as in it's going to be heavy to wear but heavy so that the material drops rather than clings if that makes sense and they've also bought out a new chiffon fabric which is just stunning as well so yeah really love both fabrics i think my bridesmaids have opted for the chiffon um we're just going to wait a few months and see what other colors are bought out in chiffon and then we're going to make a final decision but yeah, it was really successful. We had a really gorgeous day. The bridesmaid dress situation went so much easier than I thought it was going to go. I thought people were going to be, you know, when, I don't know if you guys have been bridesmaids, but like there's that worry that you're not going to like the dress and the bride is going to want you in something that you're not comfortable in, which I was so worried about. Like I've actually been very fortunate that most of the times I've been a bridesmaid, like I've loved the dress I've worn. But I know, I do know that fear of like, oh what are they gonna get me wearing is it gonna look nice so i've been really com really comfortable i've been really relaxed with my bridesmaids and just kind of said look if we can all agree on a color that works with the color scheme then style wise is completely up to you guys unless like one person wants one thing and it doesn't work um i'm i'm being really kind of relaxed about it so i just want them to all feel comfortable on the day so yeah it went really well yesterday everybody loved the dresses Everyone else was equally shocked by the fabric because when I've sent them screenshots of the dresses that I like, I think they've all been the same as me and thought, oh, I'm not sure if that fabric's going to be very forgiving on me or whatever. But honestly, if you are looking at the six stories dresses, um, they are so much thicker and heavier in real life than they look on the website. That's not me throwing shade on six stories because I am an original OG through and through six stories fan like i genuinely love the girls over there love everything that they do everything that they stand for i've been lucky enough to work with them in the past all the bridesmaids dresses were paid for though guys that's not an ad at all um but yeah i just wanted to give my honest opinion of what i thought they were going to be like and then how pleasantly surprised we all were when we saw them in real life so yeah it went really well and then after that we just all kind of just chilled ate cake drank some no secco and then went to my dress fitting and that just was just Honestly, guys, I was so buzzing afterwards. I don't know if any of you have got married or any of you are getting married, but the fear I had after I said yes to the dress 
I feel like the back of my mind I've been anxious about it ever since I tried on so many dresses that day I went to two shops I fell in love with one in the first shop then I went to the second shop which was a uh, silver sixpence in toaster in Northampton I'll leave a link below to the shop because if you're local even if you're not it's well worth traveling to like the girls are just amazing there so many dresses like it's such a gorgeous place yeah I will leave that below for you guys to go and have a look but I ended up picking my dress from there in the afternoon and then I just had this real fear because I was like, well, technically I did say yes to the dress in the morning as well. What if I've made an error? Like, what if I was, my judgment was clouded, but clouded, cloudy? Judgment was, I don't know, because I tried on so many, I was tired. It was a dress that I knew I really wanted. The two people I took with me, my godmom and my sister-in-law, my maid of honour, they both absolutely loved it. They said it was the dress out of all of them. But I think because I tried on so many that day, I was so nervous that, I was going to try it on again yesterday and think, oh, I don't like it. Um, honestly, guys, if you are going through that right now, I've spoken to so many girls that I know have either got married in the last year or so or are getting married this year. And they have said they all had a very similar thing where you just panic. I think it's such a big thing to buy. You can't return it. It's done. Once you own it, you own it. It's done. Um, so, yeah, it's just a really big thing. And obviously, it's such a big day. You want to look and feel amazing. And I, as soon as the lady... Like, I went in behind the curtain to see the dress hanging up. I was like, oh, I love it. It made me feel all... I literally was just beaming. I was so happy. Put it on. It just felt amazing. I've got to go back for a few more fittings nearer the wedding just for alterations. I don't need that much done, which is amazing. So, that's good. But, yeah, I've got to have a couple more fittings in um, August and September just to get the final alterations done. And then it will be ready. It'll be ready to go. I did actually have a comment on a vlog a few vlogs ago asking me about the try-on process. I don't know if it was a legit comment. If you are here, then thank you for the comment. Um, if you're not here and it wasn't a legit comment, then hopefully this just helps anybody else. But if I'm totally honest, I feel like you could go into any shop pretty much and find your dress. I, like I say, I found a dress in the morning and I think if I hadn't gone anywhere else, I would have thought I would have been in love with that dress. I would have been happy with that dress so i would recommend trying a couple of shops just even if it's in one day or over a course of a few days or whatever it is i would recommend trying a couple of shops um try on every single style i went in there with an image of one dress that i wanted tried it on it really did nothing for me it was not at all what i wanted it just didn't look how i thought it was going to look on me so Go in there and try the ones that you've got saved on your Pinterest board, the ones that you see on Instagram that you fall in love with. Try those dresses on, but then also pick up your, I mean, I'm sure if you go to a place that is as amazing as, is as amazing as the places that I went to, they will do this anyway. But they recommended that I picked up like six dresses, all different styles, um, try them all on. And then kind of the lady that is working with you will sort of see your reaction to those dresses and then go and find you dresses that are similar. And then eventually you just narrow it down. You find your do's and your don'ts and you narrow it down. But I, I do genuinely feel like if I went into a shop tomorrow and I tried on another six dresses, I'd probably find one in that shop as well. I don't, I don't personally believe that there's the one but out of the the lot the lot I tried on, I found the one, if that makes sense. I am obsessed with my dress. Honestly, I'm so happy with it. I cannot wait to wear it. I would love, I just said to Jake this morning, I want to put it on social media. I want to share it with everyone. I want to show you all what it looks like, take you through the process. But obviously you can't. And it's such a shame because I don't want Jake to see it. And also I don't want all of my guests to have seen it. Um, but it is a shame because I just, I would love to have been able to bring you guys along and show you me finding the dress and the alteration process, trying on different veils, different hairstyles with the dress. Because that's another thing for me is I put my hair in a way yesterday that I think I'm going to have it on the day and that sealed the deal as well. So I messaged my hairdresser straight away like definitely want that hairstyle I think. Um, so yeah, just they're really great where I've been. Like I said, Silver Sixpence I think it's called in Toaster in Northampton. I will leave a link below for you. Um, but at, you know, any dress shop that you go to that you're local to, make sure you find somewhere where you're going to really gel with the girls they're going to look after your every needs and i think is too much like the girl said to me i say if you need to come back just drop me a message we can fit you in like they're so helpful they're there for questions they're there to help you with everything make you feel really good about yourself feel so comfortable in front of them like any question i can ask them is not too much like just make sure wherever you're getting your dress from they make you feel like that they make you feel like 
the only bride in the shop, the most special person in the room, like honestly they're amazing there, so yeah make sure you get that experience. Um, and don't take too many people with you at first, because everyone will have their opinion, and you don't want to be too clouded by it. I think when I go for my alterations next time, I'm tempted to go by myself, just to have like a moment with the dress, a moment on my own with the dress, just be like, because I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're not gonna get that, you're not even gonna get that on the wedding day, like, everyone's gonna be there and seeing you, so I think that, I'll, I'll report back when I do that in August and let you know, but I think that will be nice to just go on my own and just, wow, do you know what I mean, like, take it all in and be present, it gives me goosebumps, like, that sounds so cringe, but it just makes me so happy, like, I'm so excited, but anyway, enough chatting, I've chatted your ears off, um, we have got loads of invites to do today, so I'm just gonna finish off this vlog with a montage from yesterday, there really isn't a lot, I'm so sorry guys, but a montage from yesterday with the girls, and then I'm gonna pop in the footage that I got from London, so there's a little bit of talking from me and Jake in the morning, then our montage of London and the National Wedding Show, and then, yeah, that's gonna be it, I promise from now on I'm gonna start vlogging properly again, so it's just like a day in the life, or a weekend in the life, rather than footage from all over the place but I'll quickly spin you around and show you my outfit pop the montages in and then yeah I will see you guys in the next vlog so here was my outfit of the day for yesterday I picked up this gorgeous maxi skirt now it is slightly too tight here but up here it fits perfectly and guys this is a 10 it's a 10 I haven't been a 10 since lockdown and even then I don't think I was really a 10 um, but yeah I got this maxi skirt from m &S. it's um, another one of those outfits that you can get in long short or regular which is just perfect for me because I've got long legs I say it all the time but if you are looking for something that is long enough or short enough m &S seems to be the place guys because my sister-in-law who is a lot shorter than me is also loving m &S because she can buy a short range so they have the most gorgeous jeans and skirts and linen trousers which I've shared on here a million times as well so yeah this is where my skirt is from um is this called light wash I think so I'll leave a link for it below I then have my vest top so this is actually a long vest top but I just cropped it up this says bride established 2024 and then it's by the bougie bride club I'll leave a link to her below absolutely love her page and everything she stands for she's got the most gorgeous items on there I've got a few things from her so yeah I will leave a link to that below and then I've just got my sheen Zara dupe crotch crotch <laughs> cropped trench coat um and then i've just got some beige new balance on so yeah this was my outfit of the day yesterday so it was so cute let me just do a little close-up of this top so that you guys can see so cute it's like embroidered on and you can personalize the year so you can get wifey you can get bride you can get loads of things hoodies sweatshirts um jogging bottoms we've both got the uh till death do us part t-shirts as well that say established 2024 so yeah gorgeous personalized items over at the bougie bride club so i'll leave a link below just got my katie Le katie laxton <laughs> katie loxton necklace on um and yeah that was my outfit yesterday so i thought i'd just really quickly pop it back on so that you guys could see that um and like i say i promise from now on everything will be in true time <laughs> We're in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class Good she morning guys! Does it not beep anymore? No, it's broken. Yeah, my camera's stopped telling me when it's doing stuff. I don't know what I did to it. I think I spilled um, stuff on it when I was baking. Like I got stuff in the buttons and then now it doesn't. Oh, there's a fly. That fly was in the last vlog, I swear. Um, anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natalie. This is Jake. This is Elsie, featuring lots of wash and drying. Um, we are going to do something really fun here today, so I'm really excited to bring you guys along. We're going into London. I know I went to London last week, but we are going to the National Wedding Show today. I think, is that what it's called? I think it's the National Wedding Next. Exhibition. Exhibition, expedition, ex. I keep wanting to say expedition. What's an expedition? I think it's like a trek. 
Oh. Either way, we're going to the National Wedding Show in London and I'm so excited. We won tickets from Six Stories, which if you guys have been here for a while, welcome back, by the way, thanks for being here. Um, if you've been here for a while, you'd have seen that I've advertised for Six Stories a few times over the years. They have very kindly sent me lots of gorgeous like wifey bits and bride-to-be stuff. So I'm so excited to actually go and meet them today and see all the other stalls. There's like fashion shows. I think there's puppy yoga. This is really bad lighting. I'm not sure if that's any better. I look really pale in that light. <laughs> I have a, I look how pale I look. That is awful. Please keep that I hope I don't actually look that pale in real life. <laughs> Do I? I can't see what you're talking about anyway. I look really pasty. I'm going to go upstairs and quickly show you my outfit of the day before we go. We're literally about to leave and go and get the train. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along. I'll bring you guys um, to the National Wedding Show. I'll show you around. I'm going to be brave and use my camera today. And then I think after that, we're just going to go and have like a little day afternoon in London really. We might go back to Borough Market because when I got home last week, Jake was saying that he doesn't think he's been really... For a long time. Yeah, like as an adult. Have you been as an adult? No, I reckon I was about 12 or 13, something like that. Yeah, so we might go back to London Borough Market because I was telling Jake about the, I don't know if I filmed it last week, but the crumble stall, again it's another viral thing on like TikTok and things, so you guys might have seen it, but I was telling Jake about it and then we were looking on TikTok at it, at it last night, and I think Jake wants to go and get one, so we're going to see how far away we are from everything, because I think the XL... What's it called? The XL? It's called the XL Arena. Arena, that's the word okay. I was looking for. I think it's quite far out from central London, but everything's just like a two minute tube journey anyway, isn't it? So yeah, I think we're gonna go to that first and then we're gonna tube back into more central London and have like a bit of a, a nice little date afternoon. We've not been doing much this year. Obviously saving for the wedding, trying to keep the weekends chilled. Um, whereas because we won tickets to this, it was a nice excuse to go into London. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So what are you looking for? Looking to see out of curiosity actually how far Custom House is to... Hi, Jake's just doing some geographical research. Um, but yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys are going... Oh my gosh! Elsie is going to spend the day at Jake's parents. I'm not sure if she's excited or angry that we're leaving. I'm not sure what those barks are for. But yeah, she's going to spend... No, that's enough. I think she thinks we're taking her... Um, which technically we are, but she's not coming with us. Um, so yeah, I'll go and show you my outfit of the day and then I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy. I think as normal, my vlog will probably be a bit of a montage. I'm not sure how brave I'll be to film in real life. I might do, but I will um, do a little montage of the day and then I'll catch up with you guys later if I don't come on and check in during the day. But yeah, I'm really excited to bring you guys along. I hope you're gonna enjoy. And cool, but it was obvious like who. Together, ooh. And one day she said, Write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart, and promise nobody can steal me away. Then I am yours, cause I want you, and I wanted you to know. He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you He said, I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful 
each other, sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know